Welcome back to Jack Fleming Artistry. My friend Zach came to me recently and asked me if I could paint the logo for a new business venture that they have on his, I guess we'll call it his burnout truck. Zach's the owner of Brenton Creek Customs. Um, they do a lot of powder coating and lift builds and stuff like that on a lot of newer trucks. Recently he built this truck, had me paint his logo on the doors, and they've started doing a lot of burnout contests, and they're starting to host them. So they've come out with Burnout Wars as their company for hosting burnout contests. The logo they have looks like stencils that have been spray painted over. So the first part of this is me creating that kind of spray paint effect using a toothbrush, one shot enamels, and kind of blocking it off here with a postcard. Yes, it does make for a dirty finger, and I probably should have been wearing gloves, but I didn't though I would highly recommend it. Not a good idea to get this paint all over your hands. Something I'm trying to get better about is taking a little bit better care of my hands. So after getting that kind of spray paint sort of effect finished there, the next step is to come through and get some lettering brushes here and start filling in the spots between the letters. That way it looks like um, somebody had used stencils you know, and spray paint it over those. So, just using regular lettering quills here, first coming through around the outsides of it, and making it look a little bit more opaque there, and we'll come through and start filling in in between those, and see kind of a little technique I'm using to make some larger splatters, so it's not all just the fine mist. Again, trying to make it look as much as I could like the logo that they already have made is probably made on a computer, um, but trying to recreate that there for them. I've done quite a work, quite a bit of work for Zach over the years. I first met him whenever a friend of ours, a common friend of ours, did a custom paint job for him on a motorcycle build that they did. Beautiful, beautiful bike. It was uh, turquoises and like pink magenta colors, and I came in and pinstriped that. Our friend Stefan did an amazing job on it with the custom paint. And since then, I've done a little bit of work for him over the years. Uh, Zach's got a company that does powder coating. Sometimes I've come through on some of the wheels that they have and fill in the letters on some of those wheels. Uh, manufacturer names or if people have had custom stuff put into them. Done a bunch of other jobs and stuff. Usually lettering jobs for Zach. Um, I mentioned earlier in the video here, he had me come through a few months ago when they were building this truck and didn't have the engine in it and put his logo on the shop doors. Since then, I've seen quite a few videos come out that they've put out over the internet here, mostly on their Instagram channel, uh, BCC Customs, uh, showing burnouts and stuff that they've done with that. He's got quite the neat Instagram page to look at. There's always some really cool builds. If you're into lifted trucks and stuff like that, it's a really good place to see some really high-end lifted builds and stuff. They've got race trucks. They're racing stuff. Very active uh, in the truck scene, I'd say. So as I was mentioning earlier, the uh, thing that I'm just doing there is just kind of going through and filling in between those. After that, the W that they have, so the first half of the name, you know, all looks like stencils and stuff there. The last half of the name, or the last word in it, Wars, uh, is more kind of traditional, I guess. It still looks like stencils, but it's solid colors on the letters as opposed to leaving the letters open before letting that kind of rust and patina show through. Interesting thing on that on this truck most of the truck has really good patina paint But this truck before they got it was sitting in a field forever. They rescued it from that But while it was in that field, I guess there was a fire in the field and it burned the paint off of One quarter of the truck <laughs> one whole corner part of the hood part of the front and stuff And they've left it like that which I think is pretty awesome kind of tells the story of where this truck's been and what it's gone through Right here, I'm painting tire tread. So the W in this looks like tire tread from burnout. Um, 
Got some tape on both sides. The orange tape is to put the gap between the two parts of the W there just to keep that width. And then the scotch tape that you saw me just pull off. For parts of this, really needed a good clean edge. Other parts, you know, it kind of looks like the tire tread's wearing out. So I didn't really worry about it there. Good technique you can use sometimes for lettering and stuff is that scotch tape. It's really thin, so the paint doesn't really build up at the edge of it there. So whenever you peel it off, you get a good clean edge. And it seemed to me, at least on this project, that that was probably the best way to go about doing this technique here. It's such small pieces on that tire tread. I just couldn't imagine taking the time to sit there and square up the edges on both sides. So if I could cut the time out a little bit by squaring it up on one side with tape, definitely doing that. Towards the ends here, kind of breaking it up and stuff and making it look like that tire tread, you know, it's kind of at the end of where it's making its burnout marks and stuff. Kind of neat, really enjoyed doing this project because of the different little techniques that you got to do it. Something a little different, something I haven't done in any other videos, I don't believe. One of the other things you might notice too on this is I don't have the paint 100% opaque. I mixed a little bit of clear into it just so that it is showing brush strokes just a little bit. Um, showing a little bit of wear I guess is, is the goal with that since the truck itself has paint that shows a lot of wear. The ends of the letters on this part and the logo that I was given to duplicate here, they all look like dripping paint. So you'll see at the bottom edges of these letters, not really squaring them off like normal, instead trying to make it look like paint drips. So you can flatten that brush out good while you're doing the middle of that letter. Then when you get down to those parts, you can turn it on its side where it's all chiseled and use it almost like a thin brush. Get those little drips and stuff. I know this truck's going to be traveling quite a bit. It already has been traveling a lot. I think it was at SEMA this past year. and There's no telling where they're going to be taking it now that they're starting Burnout Wars as a company. But if y'all see it out and about, take pictures of it. Tag me in it if you, if you take a picture of the part that says Burnout Wars or the doors. I didn't take video of it while I was painting on this, but on the inside on the roll cage that's in it, I painted don't die up above the steering wheel. It's a really cool truck. It's got an amazing, uh, I mean, the, the engine you'll see here in a second is pretty amazing, but it's also got really, really good set of instruments and stuff inside of it. Super cool what they've done with this 1950s Ford. I don't know, we always call them like uh, refrigerator box trucks. Super cool truck here. Keep watching to the end. There's a some good shots here of this truck but hope you guys are keeping your brushes wet if you're painters or whatever it is that you do that's creative you know keep doing it tag me in some posts or something so i can see what you guys are working on or shoot me pictures and uh if you like this you know click like or hit one of the videos that pops up here have a good day bye